In the jungle, a hero's work is often exciting, action-packed and exhilarating, always thrilling, even shocking. <laughs> but most of all, a hero's work is never done. Uh-oh. Working all this hero overtime has finally caught up to George and Abe. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Oh. I distinctly said throw the bomb into the volcano and take the baby bush baby to the orphanage. That's not how George hear it. Of course not. You heard it wrong because despite the numerous times I've made the suggestion, you never clean the wax out of your ears. Shh, it hear you. Earwax has feelings too. No, it doesn't. Clean your ears. No, no one too. Clean it. You're not part of George. Yes, I am. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Throw them in volcano! Okay, that's a no. What I'm thinking is, you're so busy saving everybody else, it's destroying your friendship. Say who? Is. So I passed the hat and everybody chipped in to send you both on vacation. Aw, that's so nice. Go camping. Rediscover why you're best friends. Oh, we throw you in volcano! George, don't eat that, it's... Extra crunchy! Uh, uh, <sighs> Why do I even try? Take the left fork, George. No thanks, George eat with hands. I meant the fork of the river. Why did not say so? I did say so. I clearly stated, take the... <sighs> Deep calming breaths. Relax. One wrong turn isn't the end of the world. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Not end of world. Just really big waterfall. <laughs> really, really big waterfall. <laughs> hey, look. Where? Where are we? It looks familiar. <gasps> this rock George chew on when he was small, George. These vines I used to swing. That my favorite slamming into tree. Great silverbacks! We've paddled into the past. Your wrong turn took us down the river of time. How come George never hear of this river? The apes discovered it long ago, but it was declared off limits for everyone's safety. Ah! Hey, there be us. Wait, George thought we are George and Ape. We are, and so are they. Those are our youthful selves. Our futures could be irreparably altered by the slightest change. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Hey, George, it me, you. Oh, we could do that. Ah, fireworm tastes like fire. I distinctly told you not to eat that. Yeah. Pleasure to meet me. Who you be? Here, yeah, the leaves of the Gastro Pacificus bush are an effective antisentipede. <laughs> I knew that. The question is, how did you know? The plant's medicinal properties were unknown until I discovered them last week. And so, introductions and lengthy explanations were dispensed with. See how handy having a narrator is? Time travel? Please, you must think I've only recently descended from the trees. I find your story to be highly improbable. Very well. Given our keen intellect, a measure of youthful skepticism is understandable. Perhaps a demonstration. <laughs> George, watch out for that! Truth <laughs> accepted. So, how long George been shark wrestling champion? Shark wrestle what? And how many times have we gone into space? We've at least made low Earth orbit, I assume. Me want to be shark wrestling champion when me grow up. So me do it, right? Ah, the dreams of youth. Not wanting to be disappointments, George and Ape do what we'd all do. They lie to themselves. Oh, sure. 
George cannot move in Treehouse because it's so full of shark wrestler trophies. <laughs> Low Earth Orbit? <laughs> Bonobos play. Let me tell you about my Mars colony. And then sneak away in the dead of night. <gasps> Did you enjoy your vacation? Ah! Oh, where's souvenirs? <laughs> me want to see Treehouse full of trophies. Could you kindly direct me to our launch pad? Or be a marmoset's uncle if I'm waiting until I grow up to go into space. Ah! See what little monkey made from coconut. <laughs> One, where did you get those kids from? And two, why do they look so familiar? Uh, since we already know this bit, let's go right to young George and teen ape learning the shocking truth. We didn't build a rocket ship? We never wrestle sharks? Not once? Our youthful dreams of space travel and shark wrestling were replaced by more important duties and responsibilities. We heroes instead. George, king of jungle. He protect others. Ape, uh, do step two, not sure what. I take a more cerebral role, and George provides the bra. That's who we are? A sidekick? A second banana? King of jungle, boring! Come, George, me show you fun things. We go lava surfing right now. Don't be ridiculous. This all their fault. Ain't never let us have fun. Now we old and boring and smell funny. If it wasn't for you holding us back, we'd be colonizing Mars. Fine. Apes go Mars, Georges go lava surfing. Wait! Me want to hot fire surf all day! My word! Most excellent! Shark wrestle champions of all time! Oh, why George no do this before? Because apes say. It's amazing what I can achieve when I'm not saying that to George all day. Together we stand on the brink of a new age of space exploration and discovery. Correction, you mean a new age of space domination! Observe, the planet is now at our mercy. At our what? No! We must use our intellect for good, not evil. I anticipated such a reaction. That's why I added this button. <laughs> What's the point of being this smart if I can't be Lord of the Universe? <laughs> huh? Why shark so mad? Maybe wrestling sharks, not great idea. Ooh, they upset. Seek revenge. You right. Not great. Awesome! Like Lava Surf Park! Something about Lava. George not remember. Lava awesome? Nope, that not it. Lava way cool? Hmm. That closer. Oh! George, what have you done? Lava's very, very... Yes! That it! Oh, me need a He's oh. smart! Help! <laughs> you vast space pirate! I hereby resign from being your leader! Death rate awesome! You make that? Yes. Apparently, in my younger days, I was too smart for my own good. George must save jungle from aliens! How he do that, eh? George, pretend that spaceship's a tree. Can you do that? What rocket ship? All George see is flying tree. <laughs> George, watch out for that! Spaceship. And so, once again, Ape's quick thinking and George's thick skull combine to save the day. <laughs> if we just forget about all of this.
When me grow up, me want to be king of jungle, like George. You save everyone and beat up aliens. And I promise to always use my superior intellect for good. Together we shall become a team. I would even venture to say, heroes. Ah! They save you like Big George. Ah! Who were those guys? Thank you, George. It appears that without you to keep my excessive intelligence occupied, I would be nothing but an evil genius without a conscience. George, I have no idea what you say, but you welcome? That's what I'm talking about. Now, we throw them in Volcano! Roar! Was the day after Christmas, and all through the jungle, every creature stuffed leftovers down by the bundle. Mm. <laughs> the ash flakes were scooped up in shovels with care, in the hope of not sneezing from ash in the air. <gasps> <laughs> You ate all year for Christmas, then poof, it's over. That's why George can't wait until tomorrow's Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, George, but Christmas is a one-time-a-year thing. Unless we do it again tomorrow because it was so much fun, and who doesn't like having fun? <laughs> George does! No! Nope. Sorry, George. Oh, why? <laughs> Christmas comes but once a year. Everybody knows that. But there'd be presents every day. Presents? Every day? I'm here. I have kind of gotten used to those catchy songs. Dancing through the leaves on a scratchy jungle vine. Trying not to fall and break your neck and spread out of Merry Christmas, everyone! Again! <laughs> Dashing through the leaves on a sketchy jungle vine, trying not to fall and break our neck and spine. Christmas is over. Over. Not to me. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! Again! <laughs> How do you like that one, huh? What's the matter with you people? Oh, Latin up, Ursula. You sound like that Scrooge old guy in that story. You know, the one that hates Christmas. <laughs> you mean Scrooge? No, the guy who's visited by the three goats in the middle of the night. Ghosts! He's visited by three ghosts. Hit it, ship! On a scratchy jungle. Sorry, George. I cannot take one more second of that song. We're sorry too, George. But this is getting a little much. Does that mean no one wants more ham? And no more ham! Fine. More Christmas for George. <laughs> Uh, 
George of the Jungle. Cookie can talk? Good evening, George. George always thought it would be more of a cutie, squeaky voice. I have come to warn you. Tonight, you shall be visited by three ghosts. Warning. Three goats? Well, I was thinking ghost, but okay, we'll send goats. Warning! 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 Whoa! No more noggin ham before bed! I am the goat of Christmas presents! Ooh, you bring George presents? No! Oh. Come with me, George of the Jungle! <laughs> Hey! He can neither touch you nor hear you. Oh, but Dream George wanted eggnog. Now, listen up. Oh. In this world, your friends have been celebrating Christmas every day for a whole year now. Today was the real Christmas day again, but none of them even noticed. Look at their faces. You've ruined Christmas for them. And look how you missed all the other holidays during the year. <laughs> we missed Mud Madness Month. Oh, George always wins mud pie eating contests. <laughs> Miss Slug Appreciation Day? No, oh, I love slime. George can't take this anymore. <laughs> Not the tree! Not the tree! On my butt for a magical journey to the wondrous Christmases of your youth. Oh! Uh, <laughs> George, not have any Christmases past. This year was kind of George's very first one. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Hang on, I just thought of something that should do the trick. I shall take you to a Christmas way back into the past of the jungle. Open your present now, Tiny George. Oh, just what Tiny George wished for. Another pair of crutches. Goat bless us, everyone. Especially me, Miss Scrooge. Who's there? Uh, welcome, Miss Scrooge. You're just in time to share in our Christmas feast. What are you people doing? It's Valentine's Day! Fruitcake? Ah, fruitcake. <laughs> we have seen enough. <laughs> Say, you gonna eat, huh? I am the goat of Christmas future. Cool. Engage teleportation mode. Oh. 
by celebrating Christmas every day. You have never had any other days and missed out on 94.7% of everything else in life. I didn't even get one slug appreciation day. Negative. No! No! George has been looking everywhere for you. George has learned valuable lesson. Scrooge Ursula was right after all. Thanks. Sort of. Christmas every day? Not good. From now on, every day is... Slug Appreciation Day! Dashing to the side. <laughs> There's a natural order in the jungle. All creatures respect the creature above them for good reason. And in this jungle, one man is king of that order. One man is George, George of the jungle. Now, Terrence, let me tell you about eating friends. No eating friends. Does so mean everyone? You're back. Now, to repeat, no playing in the mud and absolutely no more immature cave doodles. Ooh, mud! This Wednesday, like every Wednesday, finds George deep in the middle of king training with his trusty friend and mentor, Ape. You say, Wednesday? <laughs> yeah! Whee! <laughs> And no more Naked Wednesdays, George. You are king. I know it's hard to believe, but all the other animals look to you as an example. <laughs> so you have to set a good example for them. And wash this thing. It's crunchy. Well, I hope it's a giant crate of bananas, but it never is, is it? Ah, what'd it be? Uh, it's a car, George. But what in the jungle is it doing here? <laughs> hmm, it's called the Eco Blast. Apparently, it's fueled by the souls of dinosaurs. And this flyer's printed on the wings of extinct butterflies. Ugh, how obnoxious. It's an environmental nightmare. Let's get rid of it before someone tries to use the blasted thing. Who it belonged to? Some spoiled person with more dollars than cents, George. Hey, no, the truck hasn't been delivered. Well, have you been home all day? Yes, I've been in my lair since this morning. It says here it was delivered. You already said that, but I'm looking around and there's no truck. So say that one more time and I'll unleash my swarm of flying cobras on you. Oh, yeah. Calm down, sir. Rudeness is not tolerated at guaranteed delivery. Ah! Your company name is a mockery. It says here your truck was delivered. <laughs> Maybe car belong to George now? Jungle law. The only thing you should keep, George, is your oath to protect the jungle. Now, push. Mm, my new car smell is made from now extinct flowers. Who are you? I am Ecoblast. Like what you see? My paint is nuclear buff. George looks so shiny. Feel my seats. They're made of baby seals and only the cutest ones. <laughs> Why don't you take me for a ride? Uh, Ape, 
Would it be bad if George drive car places? Yes, George, it would be bad. Take it from me, cars don't get you anywhere. A proper Jungle King can't be seen in an oil-belching, environment-destroying metal monster, and that's that. You really sure? Yes, I'm really sure. Now come, we'll push it into the bottomless pit and be done with it. Hey there, rock star. Why don't you take a load off? Engage seat massager. Engage foot massager. Engage eye massager. Ow! Try closing your eyes. <laughs> Wow! Engaged jaw rest. What do you think you're doing in that thing? Jungle donut! George, you can't be king of the jungle in a car! No way! Car's good for jungle! George, show you! You have to agree, this machine is a nightmare! George's coolosity is definitely up at least 10 points! <sighs> Make that 15! Bah! It's time to throw some ingenuity at this problem! George! Stop! Go! <laughs> okay! I'm alright! Oh no! Me sorry! Me undo! Why would you do that? Whoops, sorry, me redo. Please, stop! George, listen! Shh, please, baby eagles need sleepy time. George, look what I built for you. It's an eco-friendly car made out of coconuts and bamboo. What it called? Well, it's also called the Eco Blast, but for different reasons. It's an Eco Blast to drive. <laughs> uh, do you want to trade? Hmm, what did it have under hood? Pedals, mostly, but it does have a five coconut safety rating. Hmm. How about we race and see? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Ready for Brecky Bad? Time to reclaim what is mine. Roads closed, buddy. Stop your vehicle and... <laughs> Fine! You take something of mine, I'll take something of yours. for directing me away from accident, ape. Bye now! I don't believe it. <sighs> Road's closed, buddy. You'll have to detour through this sack. Ah, uh, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> Wait, speak more slow. George no understand. Rock Chicago have eight? Must bring Eagle Blast to Bottomless Pit in next two hours or it go bottomless. <laughs> bottomless. Chucky! He sent message over an hour ago. That give me only, uh, division plus multiplication. Only 20 minutes to save Ape. 
What's going on here? What do you think? It's all your fault. What George do? George just drives supercar all over jungle having fun. Exactly. What ape always tell you? Ape say me is example to animals. <laughs> oh no. Animals think George cool. So all animals get car like George. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. 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 What me done? Car bad. But me still needed to save Ape. Did you go joyriding through a rake factory? You wrecked my car, so I'm gonna wreck your friend! Release the monkey! I'm not a monkey! I'm a higher primate! Uh, uh, no! Understand physics, so physics no apply. No. Me do understand car bad for jungle, and me must set good example. Sorry, I no listen to you. <coughs> Go fly, baby eagle. <coughs> the bottomless pit. It's the bottomless. It's lava. That good. Lava destroy cars, just like you say. But George will still in it. <coughs> Jungle win! George learned that cars no belong in jungle, so everyone push cars into not bottomless pit. I'm proud of you, George. We'll never see those cars again, and the jungle will recover. All cars melt in lava? Of course, George. What else would happen to them? <laughs> in the jungle. One must be on guard, alert, ever vigilant. Hmm. Ah, let me tell you another two-hour story about the stars. Oh. I've got a story for you. It's the season of the red baboon. The time of the year when we all take back everything we've given to family and friends, go hide in a cave and eat leaves for a month. Ow. Wait a minute. The constellation of Capricorn, Sirius, the North Star. <gasps> I can't believe I forgot. It's almost Christmas. You know, Christmas. Families get together, give each other presents, sing songs, eat candy canes. Sounds better than the season of the Red Baboon. <laughs> 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 Oh, you guys would love Christmas. I'm telling you, it's so much fun. Why is it so great? When it snows, I go snowboarding in the mountains, zipping around the pine trees. Ooh, George would love to go around trees. And the food. Oh, Christmas dinner with turkey and all the trimmings. <laughs> and twinkly lights on everything. Christmas is the best. Yeah. What's a pine tree? What are trimmings? Where'd our ball go? Get back here. You'll find out all about it. Uh -huh. Daddy, what are we doing for Christmas this year? Uh, well, honey, this Christmas, we're in the jungle. Uh-huh. And uh, we don't have snow or stores or fancy food, so I thought we might uh, skip it this year. Skip Christmas! Never! Never! We could have an extra big Valentine's Day. <laughs> Good morning and happy holidays. This is going to be your best Christmas ever! It's our only Christmas ever, sir. <laughs> <laughs>
And it's going to be the best! And this is the plan that's going to make it happen. George, you will find and decorate a magical Christmas tree. Magnolia, you will create whimsical winter outfits. Ape, you will arrange for heartwarming Christmas caroling. Chef, find the nearest hardware store. I want Christmas lights, all white, not multicolored. Christmas faces, everyone! This is not a drill! Go, 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 go! George! Look at these decorations! Aren't they magical? Aren't they wonderful? Aren't they... hatching? Don't be upset! Uh, we made eggnog! Oh! Okay, yeah. Eggnog, Christmas in a cup, just what I need. <laughs> Not good? Maybe the crocodile egg's not fresh. Ah. <laughs> ah, great! At least we still have twinkly lights. <laughs> Just wait till you see them lit up. Now all we need is an outlet. <laughs> We can still go caroling. Okay, everybody, go! We didn't really rehearse. Thank you, everyone. But I've obviously failed to show you what Christmas is all about. So I'm going home to bed. See you after Christmas. We have to do something. Ah, don't worry. Ursula's a big girl. If Santa doesn't come for her this year, there's always next year. Wait, what's a Santa? Santa, you know. Santa Claus, he comes down the chimney. Hmm. George will find Santa Claus and make him visit Ursula this year. And so, their search for Santa Claus took them to the four corners of the globe. How can a big fat man dressed in all red hide so well? Yeah. George will look again after a, a short. Look <laughs> 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 uh, what's happening. What's he finds out? Does it look like it? Well, actually. Ho, ho, ho! You could use some help! There you go! Ho, ho, ho! He's got everything! A, a red hat thingy! A white beard thingy? Ho, ho, ho! And belly shakes! <gasps> it's him! Someone is heavier than the average kid! So, George has Christmas wishes. Magnolia wants clothes, Abe wants Christmas feast, Tookie wants poison ivy, and oh, most importantly, Ursula needs a chimney for Santa to use. I see. And who is Ursula? Ursula's our friend. She told us about Christmas. <sighs> Everything should be fine. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's gonna be there. One question. What are you talking about? Ho, 
got all the toys. George, did you remember Tukey's poison ivy? Okay. Yeah! I think we need more reindeer bats. They need a leader. Tukey, George knows you're scared of bats. Huh? But <laughs> won't you guide my sleigh tonight? <laughs> George dropped presents! <laughs> hey, not all at once! your house and your Christmas but why are you smiling Look, it's just like Christmas back home Ursula really not mad no who can be upset when somebody went through all this trouble to give me a great Christmas huh oh, <laughs> oh. Guys, we didn't do this. You didn't? Well, if not you, then who? Wait, it had to be Santa. Santa came for Ursula and George? Why? Because it's Christmas. Huh. Christmas still a mystery to George, but let's do it again next year anyway. Hey, look! It really was Santa. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! And to all a good night! <laughs>